Okay, we're trying to record this answer as we go. It should be able to hear your voices, yes. So we're looking at question number 22. All right. Um, you can tell having read it that there's a few differences between this question and the last one, right? On the other hand, you're still trying to calculate KC. So you'll start the question the same way. Write your balanced equation. You have two moles of SO2. Now I'm going to be a little bit lazy here. Um, leave you, when you're doing it, I want to see your phases in the equation. I'm noticing that this is all gases. I'm going to be lazy and leave out the phases, okay? Because I'm a little crowded for space up here. Plus O2 gas produces SO3, two moles of SO3. These are all gases. Um, the KC expression for this, I'm leaving some space because I'm going to do an ice table. The KC expression is going to be the concentration of SO3 squared divided by the SO2 concentration squared and the O2 concentration. When you read the question, that very first se sentence here says these, these two gases, SO2 and O2, are placed into a container. That phrasing, are placed into the container, tells me I probably want to set up an ice table. Okay? David, what are you doing there? Thank you. On the side of your table goes what? Write down for yourself C equals N over V. Now if you want to simply do these calculations of C equals N over V in your head or do them on a calculator and don't show the work, I'm okay with that. But know yourself, okay? If you are at all hesitant in this, then don't do it in your head. Put it on the paper, and you'll read it, you'll study from it, it will help. If, on the other hand, this is super easy, and it's like I'm just wasting my time writing that down, then do it in your head, okay? But you've got to know yourself, okay? Um, C equals N over V. Four moles are in a two liter flask. So four divided by two, the SO2 starts off at 2.00 molarity. The oxygen, 1.5 moles, are in a 2 liter flask, so that starts off at 0 0.75 molarity. There is no SO3 in the container. It doesn't say, it says there's only these gases were put in the container. So the SO3 starts at 0. Right, Ali, we're doing question 22 from the supplementary questions, if you want to find the problem in your booklet. Now the last question we did told us something about a percentage that reacted. This question doesn't say that. It says instead 0.8 moles of oxygen were left in the container at equilibrium. 0.8 moles of oxygen were left in the container at equilibrium. Think about that, think about it, and put a number in your table that you think is based on that information. 0.8 moles of oxygen was found at equilibrium in the container. Hopefully, you're looking at the oxygen column. Hopefully, you're looking at the equilibrium line. What, what number did you write down in this spot for oxygen? If you wrote 0.8, then you need to be showing this work on the side. 0.8 moles, not 0.8 molarity. So you need to take the 0.8 moles and divide by, what was our volume? Two. Two liters. 
So the number for the oxygen is not 0.8, it is 0.4 molarity. Suppose you didn't catch that and you did put a 0.8 there. Let me show you that if you're thinking about it, in this particular question, you could still catch your mistake. Because you know that if this is starting at zero, if the SO3 starts at zero, what must be its change? Does it increase or decrease? If you have nothing, you must increase. And we pointed out earlier, if one side of the equation is gaining, the other side must be losing. So these must be losing. If you made a mistake and said 0.8, for oxygen, then at this point, you would look and say, something's wrong. 0.75 minus something gives me 0.8? That can't be. You'd stop, you'd reread the question, and hopefully you'd catch the fact that it said 0.8 moles, and then you'd switch to 0.4 molarity. Does that make sense? All right. What number could I now fill in? It's, it's not a bad habit, folks, if you can, to use a different color of ink in your notes to separate the numbers that were given in the question from the numbers you're going to figure out. So later when you read this over, you'll see what you knew from the question and then what you figured out later. Does that make sense? If it's all in the same color and you're studying from this later, you can't really tell what, what was there from the question and what you put in. So what number can I fill out right now? The oxygen, I know two out of the three numbers. So we, if we began at 0.75 and you ended at 0.4, oxygen must have lost 0 0.35 molarity. And then we said in our last example, if you know one of the changes, you can figure out all of the changes using what? Using the balanced equation ratios. Oxygen has a coefficient of 1. SO2 is a coefficient of 2. So if the oxygen lost 0.35, how much did the SO2 lose? 0.7. Now you might want to say 2 times 0.35 so that later when you read this you will know where that came from. If you just say 0.7, you might be wondering where you got that from. 2 take away 0.7 means there's 1.30 molarity left, right? 2 take away 0.7. How much does the SO3 gain? There's a 2 coefficient. The oxygen had a 1 coefficient. So if the oxygen lost 0.35, this will gain 2 times that. You could have compared this 2 to this 2 and concluded that if this guy lost 0.7, this guy gains 0.7. Same result. You started with nothing. You gained 0.7. So you have 0.7 left. Anybody need any of that explained up to here? Anything not clear? Then put your numbers in and calculate KC. Now that you've got the numbers at equilibrium, take all of these numbers here and calculate KC. If I were to predict whether KC should be big or small, 
you started with 2 molarity and you lost 0.7 molarity, you lost almost half, well, that's not really a lot and it's not really a little. It's sort of in the middle. So here, Kc should be close to 1, shouldn't it? We said yesterday that if you lose almost everything you began with, Kc will be very large. If you lose very little of what you began with, Kc will be very small. If you lose close to half of what you began with, Kc should be close to 1. Close to 1 would be anything from 0.1 to 10. Basically, by a factor of 10, higher or lower. Okay? What's your answer for Kc? 0.7. Two? Seven two or seven four? Seven, seven, seven two four. Okay, we wanted two digits, right, because there's two sig figs in these two numbers here, point seven zero, point four zero. If you had an extra digit, that's okay. Bloody. Point this point three five here? This because we began with point seven five and we ended with point four zero. So if you pick up your calculator Y is over here? Okay. So this guy's losing 0.35. And then we said we can figure out all of the other changes once we know one of them. So to figure out the SO2's change, we saw that its coefficient was a 2. The oxygen's coefficient was a 1. So for every one oxygen that you lose, you lose two SO2's twice as much. So we took 2 times 0.35. Okay. You always use the coefficients and the balanced equation ratios to get the other changes. That's right. Okay.